Well, the Arnie World hypothesis is the idea that life on Earth evolved from uh, primordial molecules of RNA that had the ability to both copy themselves and to carry out uh, actions in, in living systems. And um, I am definitely convinced that something like that had to happen, I think, early in life. I think it's the, the, the hypothesis that makes the most uh, sense. And Harry Noller's work, in many ways, uh, I think, uh, um, provided evidence in support of the RNA world hypothesis because his work suggests that the ribosome, this universal translator, which is made mostly of RNA, is capable of creating the, the kinds of molecules that it would have been necessary for more complex evolution. Well, you know, when I was a graduate student uh, with Jack Shostak at Harvard, we were very much engaged in thinking about that question, you know. And I think for scientists, it's one of the, one of the questions that it's, it's sort of unanswerable unless we build a time machine uh, to go back and really see what happened. But on the other side, uh, on the flip side, I think it's now possible to do experiments in the laboratory that help us test ideas about how life might have evolved. And I think one of the things that's so interesting, sort of back to your question about the RNA world, is the idea that fairly simple molecules of RNA can actually have uh, interesting functions, in interesting capabilities. And, and that's, I think that's really one of the experimental outcomes that has led to the idea that, uh, that, um, you know, that the RNA world hypothesis is likely to be correct. Well, I think it's a combination of things. You know, I think I think in science we can uh, we can use uh, archaeology, we can use uh, methods of trying to understand um, early life forms that evolved on the planet using geological records. Then I think there's the experimental approach that 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 I just mentioned, which is the idea of of trying to recreate in the laboratory conditions that might have mimicked those on the early Earth. And then there's the idea of going out elsewhere in, the, in, our, in our galaxy and looking at uh, star systems that might replicate what was happening very early on in our own solar system and thereby, thereby discover some processes that might have led to the creation of life or the evolution of life. So um, you know, I think it's probably going to be some combination of, of those kinds of, of approaches that will lead to real insight.